Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. Oh my God, what an amazing time it is just being here, being alive. Um, no matter where you are, I hope you are having a healthy and amazing time. Yes. So with the holidays approaching, um, I want us to dive into what is coming. Um, I know it's one of my favorite, favorite holidays because I look forward uh, to Thanksgiving. And yet, um, it's uh, so timely because it's deeply meaningful. And I want to talk about Friendsgiving versus Thanksgiving and the powerful role of gratitude that plays in our lives. Uh, gratitude, I like to call it, I live with thankfulness and being grateful to a lot of things that are in my life. So it creates this beautiful positive thing because Thanksgiving is about tradition. Uh, it's about gathering with family, uh, reflecting on the blessings that we have. And on the other hand, Friendsgiving is the modern twist to gathering and uh, coming to a table, uh, sharing food. It's a chance to connect with uh, the people that you choose uh, versus family, right? Uh, the people that you want to be around and that you don't have to be around in a more relaxed, less traditional setting. And both are beautiful. And there are both opportunities to connect with your loved ones. And I know there are so many who do not have a family or are away from family and this is the best time that they do come together to celebrate and give thanks, but they do it with their friends. So today we're going to explore this unique power uh, that each one brings to the table, right? Hi, sweetie. Um, Thanksgiving helps us to honor what? Tradition and family. Um, we may not always respect certain people in our family. Um, we may not honor them, but this tradition of coming together and breaking bread is, is home to me. Okay. Now, Friendsgiving, it emphasizes the importance of the relationships and the people we choose to be with. And it's a whole different ritual that you gather. I know I was uh, told that uh, there is this person who started a new trend of giving presents at Thanksgiving saying, I am grateful and I am presenting you with a present. So instead of doing it at Christmas, they do this uh, present and gift exchange at Thanksgiving. So it can be just about anything uh, that you wanted to make. So here's my question. Um, do you gather uh, with friends and family or do you gather as a Friendsgiving? Because gratitude is a game changer. Yesterday I was on a path podcast and I was being interviewed and he asked one of the questions was, do you believe in God and traditions? I think traditions are absolutely wonderful. And how often do we keep up with traditions and whose traditions? If it is something that has been centuries, then um, it's part of a tradition. But family tradition can be something different that the family chooses to do things differently, right? So gratitude isn't just polite. And uh, the answer, let me go backtrack and say, God, I believe uh, God is everywhere. We are part of God. God 
is a creator. So we each have our own perception and give meaning to what is God to us. And yet I think God is the biggest thing. And then there's the religions that dictate how you worship or do things. And everyone has the right and to say what it is that they believe in, okay? Uh, there is no one in here to uh, instill that. But I like the tradition of thanksgiving and gratitude. So I would love for you to share what you do for the holidays, so what you do for Thanksgiving, because it can be stressful, it can be, um, and, and creates anxiety, especially for Christmas, and it can be absolutely wonderful and something that you look forward to. So, by the way, I'm gonna give one of our books away, and you can text 818-221-2797, text powerful she and for the first three people who do that I'll be more than happy to give in gratitude um, one of our books the powerful she the stories of 18 women of uh, overcoming challenges to be where we are and how we're making an impact in the lives of others all with love grace and courage so let's get back to why gratitude is a game changer because gratitude is just it's not only being polite it is transformational its studies uh, show that how it improves your life uh, in my uh, interview I said how I do gratitude is each night before I sleep I do a small little prayer it's not a big prayer and then I give thanks for my family i give thanks for my mind my sound mind my body and i give thanks for all the things that i accomplished on that day so it comes to mental wellness um, wellness <laughs> uh, physical health uh, strengths in relationships and the people that we surround ourselves with and um, it also helps us sleep better, especially when we do it at night, right? And I'll share some tools to bring gratitude in your, in your day and how you can do this. So practicing this technique of gratitude, you start with either say it verbally or you write it. And it's so easy that every night you put this small little notebook next to you and you just write three things you are grateful to. That's it. Each day, jot down three things. Um, and then you create this gratitude jar, if you want to, and you ask the people who you are with that every single day um, they can write something on a small little note and you put, that in, put it in that gratitude drawer. At the end of the week, um, on a Sunday, or when you're having a dinner, you just bring that jar and say, let's pull something and see what is it. So instead of going to a Chinese restaurant and looking forward to the fortune cookies, <laughs> I collect them, especially when they are good. Like this one said, you have the attitude of a winner. I do, and when I don't have it, I do pick this up and I it reminds me. I liked it so much, I kept it. So small little things like this, and you will be showered with good fortune. Uh, it keeps, it keeps not only gratitude, but it keeps, a, it puts a smile on my face, it puts a smile and it just, it's a reminder what resonates with me what resonates with you so anytime you put something that is wonderful that the reader picks it up and it, it's good for them as much as it was good for you it's a gesture of gratitude it's a gesture of uh, love care and kindness when we share that 
It is so powerful. So this mindful appreciation you take uh, truly and you savor this moment and understanding, I don't know where you are in life. Um, by all means, please share, share your thoughts, share what is it that you are grateful to. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions because um, a few days ago, something happened in my life and actually it was 10 days ago, I fell. I fell and I hurt myself. Uh, but at that moment, my I was with mom and mom got scared and I rolled over in order for me not to hit my head to the floor. And then I got up, I dusted myself off and because I knew she was scared, limping, I started walking and I said, I'm good. A few days later, I've got all kinds of black and blue on my thigh and all that. But the gratefulness comes here. You see, when I looked, there was two people who literally saw me fall, but no one came forward. And that's okay, because nowadays, it's like this thing about being scared. I am grateful for one person particularly. I know you are watching. I know you will be watching or hearing and listening to this, that she said, if you put a sock and put rice in it and roll it up, put it in a microwave and you put it in their heat pad instead of, because at that moment I didn't have a heat pad. And she said, if you do that somewhere when you don't have a heat pad or an ice pack, because I iced it, it will pull away um, that strain and heat it because rice keeps the heat. And to me, I am truly truly grateful for tools, tips, techniques that can help us feel better. You know, it's a gesture of kindness. It's a gesture of love. It's a gesture either in words or in deed. So, and what better way to celebrate friendship or tradition but to come together and say, I drink to your health. I am grateful that you are in my life. I am grateful to my assistant, Adrian, that no matter what, we have each other's back. And I know uh, it's absolutely wonderful. I am grateful to the 17 ladies who joined me to be part of this book, The Powerful Sheep. Again, the first three people who typed the powerful she on 818-221-2797. Yes, you pay for the shipping, but you get a book. And it's a wonderful book, stories of 17, 18 women um, who truly are now making an impact in the lives of others. That's giving. That's gifting. That is sharing. So... Holidays can also be very nostalgic. It can. We are missing the people who mean so much to us that may not be around the table. Um, either they're in heaven or they're in another state. Or for whatever reason, you're not on talking terms at this moment. Anything can be happening at this moment. And I... I know it is happening everywhere. So there's separations in mind, separations of in thought process. It's a separation. But that separation does not mean that you separate from yourself. At this very moment, even being grateful to your own life, everything that you have accomplished Everything that you have done, self-pride starts with you. Even healing starts with you. That's why the name of my business is Heal Within. And when my clients come, when I ask them, what do you want? Not, 
all the things of who did or what they said, this is what they did. Stop. Pause. What do you want? Bottom line, we want inner peace. We want kindness. We want understanding. We want love. We want serenity. No matter where we are. So, wrapping up, I want you to know what's one thing that you're grateful for in this time and how do you plan to show it and share it? I'm sharing it with a gift. I'm sharing it by being with my family. I'm sharing it by being grateful to each one. So this free gratitude gift that I am giving is my way of sharing. And on December 2nd, I'm doing an open house at my uh, office. If you are anywhere near the LA area, by all means, you are invited to my open house and uh, you will see it uh, at a link. You will see it on my website in the events part. So you are invited to come and share the spirits, a little bit of a good food, and saying, I am grateful to you. So let us make this season about more, just, more than food, more than drinks, more than pointing fingers and making it into heartfelt connections and genuine gratefulness. So as always, I thank you for showing up. I thank you for your thoughts and ideas. Next Tuesday, we will celebrate Thanksgiving together. Uh, you never know what I will have on my table or where I will be giving thanks. So stay tuned. I might even surprise you be somewhere that it's absolutely different than my normal setting. So until then, I am grateful to you and everything that I can help you with to feel better and to heal within. My name is Lisa. I'm your expert hypnotherapist. And I am here to say, appreciate and accept yourself far more deeply than ever before. And until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.